I had a feeling. It was like a few set of morning, lovely lady. Yeah. Silent no. This and book have pictures with me smiling no. All the things you need, you still want problems though. All the things I know, I still been silent though. How y'all doing? We're back here for another day. It is Powder City. We got probably 14, 15 centimeters, they're saying, overnight, and there was nothing in the forecast. So figured I'd bring you along. Hopefully gonna join up with Cam later, do some laps, maybe get some footage, take some stills, uh, and kind of just take you along for the ride. I'm not really sure what to make of it, but uh, yeah, see you up there. It's gonna be awesome. Leap that out. Ew. Enjoy. Yeah, you should be in Silver City in the go. You should be in lunch room playing dominoes. I don't want to have to go to funerals. Even at the studio, I don't have no time to be no Romeo. All the love I need is at the rodeo. All the love I need is here in Ovio. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Next time, take this in right now. Those of you that ski and snowboard, you know what's good. Here we go. Like, I don't want to check one of these. Sure, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All the girls I know are there with ease, yeah. though. Who knows why I end up when that shit gets old? Maybe it never gets old, and that's just how it goes. Last table left in car bones. Call the plays on the road to be fall. I take a glass of dome, we die to go with me home. Might move I ain't even shit to the dome. I need 40,000 people to see what I'm on. Okay, on the steep parts in here, if someone hasn't already rode it, the snow probably will slide a bit. Okay, thank you. Sweet. Yes, sir. Sweet. This is insane. Oh, yeah, that yeah. Loved a lot of spiteful moves. I was the angry you know I was right feel. Saw a side of myself that I just never knew. I probably self-destruct if I ever lose, but I never do. Oh buddy. You can't even see. Daddy doing double shift. Want to do a beat and I'll open up like a double click. And the GoPro dies. Instant classic. But Cam and I still kept riding and I took my DSLR out 
and started taking some photos to get some more in-depth action shots from the day, uh, which is great. For those of you that don't know, Cam and I go way back. We actually started doing freestyle skiing together as well as taking photos and videos uh, of us doing so about 12 or 13 years ago. And it's really cool to see the progression along the way. And I come full circle and doing that exact same stuff, but just on a whole different scale, both in terms of the riding um, and also the cinematography work uh, and photography work, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, just figured I'd run you guys through the shots that I got from that day, starting with the first one being just dropping off uh, a little cliff uh, for him. Uh, it's quite little. Actually, the landing was really flat that day. There's a lot of snow and he took a little bit of a spill, but I ended up just telling the story as if he landed it because I've personally seen him land ones that are double or triple the size of that. Um, so for the purpose of the photos, they look great. And I'm always thinking along the way, you know, what kind of detail shots can I get? Whether that be a wedding shoot or that be with just skiing with my friends. And in this case, I was just looking around and this beautiful just pine tree stood out to me. Uh, just always kind of like engage your mind to think outside of the main objective. So here being getting a photo of Cam riding, well, there might be some other ways to convey that story in the environment. So simple shot of the pine tree, nothing special, but to me adds value there. And then a nice wide shot um, of Cam, that, you know, that typical ski shot with a pole in the air, uh, some powder spraying. And this one here actually cropped wider than usual. Camera shoot in three by two. Uh, which is a little less wide than 16 by 9. 16 by 9 is your typical movie format. Uh, but here, this is actually a 5 by 12. Um, and that gives you kind of like an elongated, stretched look. And to me, it's a more cinematic vibe to the photo. And when posting on Instagram, you can actually make it so that you have to slide through the three photos to see the whole thing. So that was kind of the intent there. And then to finish things off, just a quick little photo of my skis while I was riding down on the final lap. Just kind of holding the camera up, spraying and praying, and it worked out. So again, nothing too special, but trying to convey the mood, the atmosphere, the behind the scenes stuff uh, with my photo work. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'm pretty quick to respond, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.